Hello, and welcome back to Species Spotlight. This week, we are going to learn about an amphibian that can practically freeze during winter to survive for the spring, the wood frog. Wood frogs are found throughout the northeastern United States and Canada, and they are one of the only frogs that live north of the Arctic Circle. These frogs range from one and a half to three inches long and inhabit mixed forests, marshes, meadows, and swamps. Wood frogs have a distinct black marking across their eyes, sort of resembling a mask. Their colorations can vary from shades of brown, green, gray, and even red, with females typically having more varied coloration than the males. Adult wood frogs catch prey using their long, sticky tongues to grab them out of the air or off of surfaces. Some meals consist of insects, spiders, worms, slugs, and snails. When wood frogs are tadpoles, they mainly eat algae and decaying plant matter until they develop further. While they are great at catching smaller bugs and inverts, wood frogs themselves fall prey in both life stages to snakes, snapping turtles, great blue herons, raccoons, salamanders, and even beetles. What makes wood frogs so amazing is their ability to adapt to cold climates. Their way of overwintering is much different than other animals. When wood frogs hibernate beneath leaf litter, their bodies are able to freeze and their heart and breathing stops. 65% of water in the wood frog's body can turn to ice. In this stage, their body produces a special antifreeze-like substance that prevents ice forming inside of their cells, so as the weather warms up, they will thaw out and find food in order to begin their mating season. Wood frogs are one of the earliest amphibians to begin the breeding season in early March and lay their eggs in vernal pools throughout woodlands. Males will make quack-like calls day and night, calling out to females, and when they successfully mate, females can lay up to 1,000 to 3,000 eggs at a time in large globular masses. While you're out in the parks in the early spring, be sure to listen for the calls of wood frogs and look in smaller bodies of water for any egg masses. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Species Spotlight.